MMA Junkie is on the ground in Mexico City for UFC Fight Night 98. Kind of a light day on the schedule, but that did not mean they didn't have a little bit of drama. Started out kind of fun with the main event. Rafael Dos Santos made weight at 156 pounds. Meanwhile, Tony Ferguson made weight at 155 with jeans and a belt on. He stepped back off the scale and made 154 pounds official. Then things took a real interesting turn. Charles Oliveira came in at 155 pounds. Great, right? Except it's a featherweight contest. 146 pounds was the limit. He missed weight by nine pounds. However, Ricardo Lamas will take the fight. He will get 30% of Charles Oliveira's purse, and Charles Oliveira cannot weigh more than 165 pounds. Apart from Oliveira, the only other fighter who didn't make weight was fellow Brazilian and teammate Felipe Arantes, who came in two pounds heavy for his fight with Eric Perez. Perez did take the bout, though, and Arantes loses 20% of his purse, while Oliveira will lose 30% for his miss. Felipe looked rough going into the scale, needed to be helped there, suffering from what appeared to be severe cramps. He did make it, though, and managed to throw in a little fist pose. A couple other interesting notes from the official weigh-ins this morning. Alexa Grasso making her much-anticipated UFC debut. Did come in at 116 pounds. She just made weight. Had to use the hoop of shame, as we like to call it in the industry, to, uh, to make weight. Did look a little bit rough. And, of course, Joe Soto had a very emotional, very tough cut. He took the fight on less than a week's notice. It's a catchweight fight at 140 pounds. He made it, but it was obviously a very, very difficult cut and a very emotional cut for him. We'll see how that affects him on fight night. After that, we came here to Mexico City Arena for the ceremonial weigh-ins. The ceremonial wins were actually pretty tame, except for Eric Perez and Felipe Aranches, who had a few words for each other. We don't know yet if they were weight related or not. And apart from that, of course, Sam Alvey, we can always expect something from him. He and his wife showed up in full Dia de los Muertos makeup to make the crowd all the more excited. And that's it, of course, for our Fight Week activities. All that's left for you to do now is sit back and watch the fights and, of course, follow all the coverage on MMAJunkie.com.